So I'm back with the camera again that you saw in the last video when I did the external microphone mod and now that I've uh, added that to this camera I uh, wanted to search around to find a external power supply for it instead of keep running it on batteries all the time and I did manage to find one guy who was selling one on Amazon and he wanted £45 plus £6 shipping for it so in my mind that's uh, too expensive for a simple 5 volt power supply so uh, I did a little bit more looking around and I managed to find a data sheet on the power supply from uh, Nikon and it turns out it is 5 volts like it says on this uh, rubber tab here and it's also 1.5 amps now on the data sheet itself it also states that the bottom of this connector here is the negative and the top part here is the positive now it is a very funny shaped connector and it doesn't seem to be standard on all uh, the Nikon Coolpix range so uh, looking at the data sheet I think I should be able to make one to actually uh, will run this camera now that I know the bottom is the negative and the top is the positive so what I did, I got a little piece of blue tack and I forced it into the actual connector itself so I could get a uh, moulding and I could then take some measurements off this and it turns out it's just slightly under 5 millimeters. so I've taken this piece of double sided PCB board and uh, cut myself a sliver and sanded it down until it's the right uh, width that uh, matches this connector itself and it does fit in here quite nicely but it is a little bit loose so what I'm going to do I'm going to actually tin both sides of this PCB board with some solder to try and uh, make it a little bit thicker and hopefully it'll stay in place a lot better so I've soldered put some solder on both sides of this to make it a little bit thicker and because of surface tension it uh, turns out to be quite rounded when the uh, solder cools off so I've just took a little piece of emery paper and uh, I sanded it uh, flat on both sides and now when I put it into the camera it's uh, a much tighter fit it doesn't wobble as much so the next thing I want to do with this connector is uh, build up the sides because the sides of this are slightly raised because they fit in here it's a little bit like a U shape now it's there to give it some stability while it's plugged into the camera but it's also to stop you from switching the uh, polarity now it's like I've said it's negative on the bottom and positive on the top but uh, with these raised sides that are on the connector it would be impossible to uh, put it in the wrong way around but if I just leave it flat like this then uh, you could accidentally switch the uh, polarity and actually damage the camera so what I've got here I've got some uh, single core wire and uh, it just fits in the sides quite nicely and if I can solder it on to the sides of here it should just give me enough raised effect to stop me from plugging it in the wrong way around and also guiding it in there as well so what I've done I've taken the piece of uh, wire and I've bent it into this shape here and what I've done I've this gap here is just slightly less than the five millimeters of this sliver of copper so uh, hopefully I'll be able to solder this onto the sides here and it'll give me that um, little safety net if you like to stop me from plugging it in the wrong way around and also keeping it more stable while it's uh, attached to the camera so I'm just holding this in place and what I'm going to do is just apply heat to the centre and I've already pre-tinned this wire so it should all melt and transfer the heat to the sides it's now in place and I can just uh, get a little file and just file in the middle there to uh, add a bit more shape to it so the charger I'm going to use is this one here and uh, it runs at 5 volts just like the um, official one according to the PDF and 
runs at the same amps as well, 1.5 amps. That's uh, really important that uh, you don't go over uh, the amps that uh, the official PDF say for this uh, actual camera because you can actually end up damaging the internals. Might not be straight away, it might be over time, but uh, you can end up damaging the electronics inside of the camera. So really important that you get a uh, charger that's the same as or even just slightly under. So that's good, the connector now and I've soldered it onto the power supply and uh, I've just used a little bit of heat shrink tubing to finish it off and I also ended up cutting this down a little bit here because it was uh, a little bit too long now it just fits in just, uh, just nicely. So all that's left to do now is to test our new power supply so first of all we remove the batteries and get our power supply, it's already plugged in at the mains connect it up and turn it on and there we go so I saved myself £45 so if you've got a uh, funny shaped power supply that's not standard on one of your electronics I uh, hope you get something out of this and uh, you have a go at uh, getting around that problem yourself. Catch you next time.